Welcome again. Right now we're at Acts chapter 20. This is the last chapter of Acts. And after this, we're going to get into the letters of Paul. And so this is going to be quite the stretch here, but this is the last chapter of Acts. This is Acts chapter 28. We're going to be reading verses 1 through 10. Barbarians know God more than some Christians. When we had escaped, then they learned, the NU reads, we learned that the island was called Malta. The natives, now this word natives I want you to look at, in the original Greek manuscripts is barbaros, which is literally barbarians, okay? The natives, the barbarians, okay? This is what we're talking about. Showed us, notice, uncommon kindness. They were very kind to Paul and his crew. For they kindled a fire and received us all because of the present rain and because of the cold. But when Paul had gathered a bundle of sticks and laid them on the fire, notice Paul wasn't just sitting back going, I'm the apostle Paul, you guys, you know, you guys serve me. No, he was out there serving the people. That means pastor, that means church leader. Get out there and start really rolling up your sleeves and serving the people. But when Paul had gathered a bundle of sticks and laid them on the fire, a viper, a snake, came out because of the heat and fastened on his hand. When the natives, the barbarians, saw the creature hanging from his hand, they said to one another, No doubt this man is a murderer whom, though he escaped from the sea, yet justice had not allowed him to live. Notice that the barbarians here, the natives, they had a belief in God and they had knowledge of God beyond that of a lot of people today. They didn't only believe in God, but they knew that God would get back at those people who did wrong, okay? This, they thought that Paul was a murderer. This Paul must have been a murderer because look at, even though he had escaped and even though none of us know him, you see, God follows him around and God will get back at him. And this is the knowledge that most people don't, and even Christians don't really look at it this way, okay? Whenever you do something in private, whenever you do something in the dark, you may say, well, nobody knows about this. Well, I'm doing this over here. I'm doing this behind these closed doors. Well, you know, it's very, very certain that you are being watched. Even though you don't see anybody watching you, you are being watched and justice will be served. Okay, be it in this life or in the next life, justice will be served. God will see to it that what you did, the evil you did to other people will be done to you. However, he, speaking of Paul, shook off the creature into the fire and wasn't harmed. But they expected that he would have swollen or fallen down dead suddenly. But when they watched for a long time and saw nothing bad happen to him, they changed their minds and said that he was a god. Now, obviously here they're not talking about him being God, but being a God, a, a very powerful person. So when they said that Paul was like a God, they weren't really worshiping him, but they were, they were saying this guy is a very powerful person. Even a deadly serpent can't kill him. Now in the neighborhood of that place were lands belonging to the chief man of the island named Publius, who received us and courteously entertained us for three days. The father of Publius lay sick of a fever and dysentery. Paul entered into him, prayed, and laying hands on him, healed him. Then, when this was done, the rest also who had diseases in the island came and were cured. They also honored us with many honors. And when we sailed, they put on board the things that we needed. And so why were these barbaros, these barbarians, so gracious and kind to Paul and his crew? Well, you see, they, they had a fear of God in them. They knew that God would find out secret things. They knew that God would repay evil. If you've done any evil to other people, if you've done wrong things to other people, 
you better be afraid. God will ensure that that evil is paid for. So that concludes our reading for this passage. And as you go, as always, seek God with all your heart. And if you do, you will find him. Call upon him and he will show you great and mighty things. Love you guys.